never fails me in all my days I've been held in your hand the moment that I wake up until I lay my head oh I will see good morning Good morning, good morning. Alyssa, good morning. Pastor Jim, good morning. Clifton, good morning. L-J-A-F-T-E, good morning. Good morning, Randa. Erica, Colleen, Bill, good morning. Keith, Stephanie, good morning. Nola, good morning. Angela, good morning. Marion, good morning. Bissette, good morning. Natalie, good morning. Call to Conquer, good morning. Justin, good morning. Aaron, good morning. D. Nix, good morning. Crystal, Miranda, good morning. Melissa, Brittany, good morning. Sylvia, good morning. E. Teasy, good morning. Sweet Lily Bates, good morning. Anthony, good morning. Tiffany, good morning. Angela Murray, good morning. Britt, D. Michelle, good morning. Davina, Kiana, good morning. Sonia, Drea, good morning. Brother Campbell, good morning. Callie Q. Scott, good morning. Rhonda, good morning. D. Whitaker, good morning. Big Bro, good morning. Keith, Robin, Charity, Amy. What's up, girl? Isabella, good morning. Brother Daniel, good morning, Reverend. Good morning. Brother Laritz, good morning, brother. Good morning, fam. Hope y'all are well. Ruth, good morning. Joseph, good morning. Denise, hey, girl. Robin, Sandra, good morning. Mom, good morning. Hannah, good morning. Connie A. B. Did I get that right? Elizabeth, good morning. Miss Kelly May, good morning. Diana, good morning. Tamara, good morning. Judy, good morning. Pure Heart, good morning. Faith, good morning. <laughs> Praise the Lord, Faith. Come on, hang in there, girl. <laughs> Good morning. That's so sweet. Good morning. So happy to be here this morning. So glad to have you here this morning. Aaron, good morning. Hey, girl, I see you. Beth, good morning. Benita, good morning. Mrs. Victory, Sister Ross, good morning. Britt, good morning. Lucas, my man. Tala, my sister-in-law, good morning. McDonald household, good morning. Cara, good morning. Steph, good morning. Tina, hey girl. Hey Tina. Mighty Mama. Momo, Mighty Momo, good morning. Good morning, Candace. Good morning, Chastity. Shane, good morning. Cynthia, good morning. Tara, good morning. Claudia. I love that part. Nisi, Jeannie, Debbie, good morning. Joe, good morning. Nancy. Yes, Lord. Are y'all ready to sing of the goodness of the Lord this week? Are y'all ready to declare his glory? If he's good, just lift up those hearts. Tasha, lift, lift up those hearts. Cindy, Irene, good morning. Lift up those hearts. Karen, 
Cassandra, Natalie, God is so good. Lift those hearts up. Come on. Jill, Jen, he's so good. He kept us to the thorn. Set up good morning. Good morning, Aisha. Lopez, good morning. Good morning, mother in law. Miss Robin, good morning. Miss B, good morning. Chantel, good morning. April, good morning. Sherry, good morning. Oh, come on. If he's been good, lift up those hearts this morning. Lift them up, lift them up, lift them up. He has been good. Amen. Yo, good morning, y'all. So good to have y'all in here after Easter. The Easter hangover. How y'all doing after this Easter hangover? Let me turn these over. That's a little bit. Uh... I ate so good, feasted on the word of the Lord, feasted on family and fellowship. It was a good time. I'm sleepy. I'm tired. I wish I had a late night show instead of an early morning show, but God is good and we are declaring his glory in the morning. So I hope you're ready because God has got some good news for you today. Welcome to Good News Today, the daily devotional with Yours truly, Albert Tate. Couldn't be a show if we didn't have a song. Come on. Everything's going to be okay. You better ask somebody. Come on. Come on. I want to see it in the comments. Tell somebody. Tell somebody. Come on. Everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay, y'all. Everything's going to be okay. We got another week. Everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. God is on the throne this morning. Everything's going to be okay. Everything. Everything. Not some things. Not a couple of things. Not a few things. But somebody say everything. Everything is going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. Because we got some good news today. Yo, welcome to Good News Today. Listen, if you're on, share it with some friends. There's some friends that are just sitting there looking on Instagram, going live with Justin Bieber. It's like, yo, come off of Bieber's page and come over here with your boy. Come on, share it right now. Share it, share it, share it. Invite some friends to come over uh, and hang out with us as we dive into the word of the Lord today. There is a word today. So... It's Monday. This is week three of us doing this, and it's cool. I am, um, uh, the Lord just gave me an assignment, Storm, um, uh, Karen. Um, the Lord just gave me an assignment. Hey, April, Nancy, man, y'all just be coming in here. Oh, this is so great. Angela, good morning. It's so good. It's like a reunion. I love seeing your names. I love seeing your faces uh, scroll up. Um, and we get to come in and just encourage each other. This is us getting each other through this together. This is the power of community. This is our our good news today family joining together every morning saying, yo, we're going to get through this thing together. One heart up at a time. Naomi, how you doing, girl? Um, Raymonda, good morning, girl. Good morning. Uh, Derek, good morning. CC4 Boss, good morning. Um, we we going to get through this thing, Tori. We're going to get through it. Um, and this is kind of, we, we gather together in the morning and uh, you grab your coffee, you grab your Bible or whatever you, whatever you use to get your day started. And we come and encourage each other. So but, but I just want to take you if, you, if you're new, if this is your first time, let me tell you. Excuse me, I'm not even going to lie. It's some of the richest stuff that I've seen the Lord do with his word in the morning is in these previous devotions the past. So all of them are on, they live on the Fellowship Facebook page. So you can go on there and catch the recap and the replay of all of those. Good morning, John. Uh, Jessica Cuz, good morning. Uh, it's so cool to see my family from Mississippi on here. Hey, what's up, y'all? But you can go back and watch 
because we're building a case. Each week I'm building a case. I'm building a, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm making an argument and I'm giving you the words that you need from the word of God to get you through this season. Ain't no way in the world you gonna join me every morning and not walk away from here um, encouraged. Uh, Jeremy, you're gonna be encouraged. You're gonna get what you need for the day. You're gonna be reminded of who you are and whose you are. So come on and join us. Invite some friends and say, yo, just if I know you, I know you do coffee, but I'm telling you, coffee. With Albert, it's just it just give you an extra little kick. It give you a Holy Spirit kick. You get your caffeine and you get the Holy Spirit kick put together. I'm caramel, so if you like your if you like or if you like your coffee black, hey, I'm right here. We go together, black and black. We in here, so you have your double dosage uh, every morning. Uh, <laughs> John Dix, Pastor John Dix, how you doing, bro? Hope yesterday went well for y'all, man. Uh, so Tamara, so. So some of the things we've been talking about is I'm trying to help you not react to the coronavirus, but to respond. Because here's the deal. If you're not careful and if you're not intentional, you will react in your flesh and not respond in the spirit. If you wait on me to start teaching, you waited too late. I'm already there. Come on now. Some, some of y'all need to catch that. I don't, I don't want you. I don't you don't need to spend your whole day reacting in the flesh. Reacting to your kids, reacting to the reacting to the to the quarantine, reacting to the news thing, reacting to the no 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 stop reacting in your flesh. Stop reacting in your flesh and start responding in the spirit. Start responding in the spirit. Well, Albert, what does that mean? Number one, be still. Start every morning and just be still and know that I am God. Be still and know. Psalm, I believe, 46. Be still and know that I am God. You still know that I got Myra said, I remember when you didn't drink coffee. I drank coffee. I just don't drink all black coffee. It's always been milk plus a little coffee. That's what it's always been. Some of you, you still reacting in your flesh. You still waking up today and you're like, oh, I got to do this. The kids wake up and you act like you surprised they there. You act like the kids, like, like you act like you surprised they ain't going to school today for their for they teacher to teach them algebra. No, you teaching them algebra or that Zoom call is going to teach them algebra. So wake up, get the stuff set up so your kids can walk into a prepared place. You single, you living there by yourself. You know, stop, 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 stop staying in pajamas till 1, 1 p.m. Get up, take a shower, get dressed and start engaging your day. Stop reacting in the flesh. Start responding in the spirit. Be still, sit in the presence of God and know that he is God. No, no, not guesstimate, not hope that he is. Be still, be still and know that he is God. Come on in, Dornette. I see you, girl. How you doing? Taryn, come on in here. Come on. Justice, come on in here. Miss Bianca, come on in here. Be still. Jeremy Mitchell, so good to see you, man. Kiana, so good to see you. It, be, be still and know that I am God. All right, Kiana and, and uh, Myra, ain't nobody going on this trip down memory lane with y'all, all the stuff that I didn't do. Ain't nobody going on that, ain't nobody riding. Ain't nobody jumping in the car. <laughs> so I wanna help you as you navigate your days. Friends, will you stop reacting? You've been in this long enough to know that the seasons have changed. The season has changed. Now start responding in the spirit. First, get before God. I said, Lord, I want to I want to receive. Here it is. All that you have for me. Rem remember the man of conversation. Y'all last week, one of the most profound things we talked Exodus 16. We talked about the manna that God has provided uh, for 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 us. And I'm telling you, God, with the children of Israel, he gave them manna in the morning and meat at night. And he says, I got you. I got what you need. Can I just tell you that's fresh manna for you this morning? God is saying, I've, I've, given you, I've gone through your whole day. I know who's going to throw up. I know who's going to have diarrhea. I know who's going to tick you off. I know who's going to roll their eyes at you just a little tight. And that's going to be the last straw for you, bro. And you're going to be like, look, I need to go for a drive. He's like, I already been through the day, dog. I already been through the day. I know the phone call that's coming from your mama. from your, and I, I already been through the day. I already know what's going to happen. I know which kid is going to have the attitude. I know which kid is going to be doing nothing. And I know which kid that you think ain't going to be doing nothing, but they sneaking, watching something on YouTube that you told them that they can watch. I already know. God is saying, I already know, so let me prepare you for what I know that is what is coming. Let me, let me prepare you for what I know what is coming, that is coming. Let me get you ready. 
Let me get you in. Let me give you the patience that you need. Let me give you the wisdom that you need. Let me give you the discernment that you need. Your discernment is, is low. Why? How do I know your discernment is low? Because you made that extra comment to your husband and you didn't discern that he was already irritated. So that extra comment put him over the edge and now it's going to require a whole conversation and an apology where you could have just let it pass and he would have been good. But now y'all got to sit down and talk about it because you had to say something extra. You would have discerned, dog. Now ain't the time to try to be pushing up on her in the house. She ain't ready for that. She ain't wait. But the Holy Spirit will give you discernment. He'll give you discernment. Don't, don't start your day without getting that. God is saying, I got fresh manna for you, brother James. James, what's happening, James? He says, I got fresh manna for you. Don't miss it. And he says, eat all of it. Not only did he give provision in the manna, he also gave rhythm in the manna. He said, I'm trying to help you have a rhythm to your day. I'm trying to give you a rhythm to the day. He says, I'm trying to help you get a rhythm to your day. Meet with me in the morning. Meet with me at night. I'll cover you. I'll cover you. I'll cover you. But if you don't get in line with the spirit, he, he provided on six days on the seventh day, he didn't provide anything because he says, I need you to store up because I need you to rest. And the rest is important because I need to remind you, you're not a slave anymore. Because in Egypt, you didn't get a chance to rest. Rest is necessary. It is in the rest that God reminds you that you're not a slave. Are you getting any rest? It is in the rest of God that he reminds you, he whispers, he says, you're not a slave in Egypt anymore. Rest, sleep. Sleep, rest. You're not a slave anymore. You're not a slave. There's freedom. I've freed you. See, when you sleep, the world keeps going. You're not a slave. Some of you think, you think the world is rotating on the axis of your hand. And your main reason for not getting the rest that you need is, well, who going to do it? How's it going to get done? Yada, 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 yada. Hey, yo, everybody going to live if you take a day and rest or you take half a day and rest or you take a few hours and block off and go rest. Everybody going to live. You're going to come back. Some of you, the way you act, you act as if, if you don't rest, if, if, you don't, if, if, if you don't do it, it ain't going to get done. Oh, but who going to feed the who going? And you just think everything revolves around you. It's almost as if you think if you took a day off, you come back, everybody be dead. Like, oh, Lord, everybody died because I wasn't here to take care of everybody. How is Junior going to brush his teeth if he ain't anything here? If you don't get somewhere and sit down, you ain't God. So stop acting like it. Stop acting like it. It doesn't even look good. It's not even attractive. It's not inspiring at all. People look at you around you and it's like, oh, no, she thinks she is the God. He thinks he just run everything. You mean to tell me you so important you can't even take a nap? You can't even rest. Oh, I'm so tired, but you know, I've been doing all of this stuff. You want to, you want a reward for overworking? You want people to applaud? Girl, how you get all that done? How you get all that done? It feeds your ego. To be honest, come on, let's tell the truth. You're a control freak. And you like controlling it all. Chill out. Don't you spend this season being God? That job is already taken. And the question is, if you busy being job, being God, who's doing your job? Who's being the daughter that God has called her to be? Who's being the son that God's called you to be? Who's being the wife that God's called? Because you can't be wife and God. You just can't do both of them. You can't be husband and God. So be still and know that he is God and he's a good God. He's provided fresh manna for you. To consume, he's providing a rhythm of life for you. And if you don't get in line and get in line with the rhythm, you've heard me say this before. I'm going to say it again for the folks in the back. You will come through a season of abundance, but still experience scarcity because you showed up in the wrong time, in the wrong spirit, in the wrong way. They, they went out, Exodus 16, go check it out. They would go out on the seventh day and it wouldn't be nothing there. They'd be disappointed. So it's a season of abundance, but they go out and they see nothing because they in the wrong, they react in, the, they react in their flesh and they're not responding in the spirit. They're not seeing the provision of God and getting in line with the rhythm of God, the practice of God. God is trying to slow you down. Here's the question. Have you slowed down yet? And just be honest, 